Hello and welcome to this video on the intuition behind panel regression. I'm Alex Code and you can find the slides and the R code on my GitHub page, details are below. So here we have a fictional data set with numbers on the size of the police force and crime for five cities. Looking at the data format, we can see that there are five cities indexed by one to five. There are two time periods, one and two, and we have information on number of police in the police force and number of murders. Okay, so the standard regression model fits a line through a cloud of points to summarize the relationship between variables. However, as we will see, this model is not suitable for analysis of panel data where multiple elements are tracked over multiple time periods. Let's apply a simple OLS linear regression model where the output or dependent variable is the number of murders and the explanatory variable is number of police. The estimate of B is positive and significant, taking a value 1.6899. Higher numbers of police are associated with higher numbers of murders. This seems puzzling. Let's take a look at the data in the table. In each of the five cities, as we move from time period 1 to time period 2, adding more police reduces the number of murders. Adding more police is associated with a decrease in the number of murders. So, how can the relationship be positive? Does this mean that if a city increases the size of its police force, that the number of murders will increase? This goes against expectations. We might have expected B to be negative because of a negative relationship between police and murders, that as the police force increases, the number of murders decreases. So, why is our estimate of B positive? The answer is that the standard regression model needs to be changed to take into account the panel structure in the data. Technically, we have a problem of unobserved heterogeneity. Large cities have both more police and more murders. Another way of saying the same thing is that we have omitted variable bias, OVB. Some of you may have already heard about OVB. The idea is that we need to control for city size. Larger cities have a larger police force as well as a larger number of murders just because of their sheer size. Another way of thinking about unobserved heterogeneity is to focus not on the levels, i.e. the total amount of murders, but to focus on the differences or changes in murders over time. In this way, we could take into account the different starting points for these five cities. Let's clarify what we mean by panel data. This slide shows a data set where we have seven individuals from A to G that are tracked over a maximum of 10 time periods. In some cases, we have missing observations denoted by the yellow cells. A cross-sectional data format means that we observe several entities, but only for one time period. In this case, it is a horizontal slice of data. Or here, or here. A different type of data set would be a time series, where we observe only one entity, but for several time periods. In this case, it would be a vertical slice of data, such as here, or here, or here. Panel data combines the, both the cross-sectional and time series elements. Panel data is all about tracking several entities over several time periods. If there are no missing observations, we speak of a balanced panel. An example is shown in the red box here. Or here. If, however, there are missing observations in the data, we speak of an unbalanced panel, as shown here. The regression equation for a panel regression model starts off by looking like a standard OLS regression model. 
where we have an index i for city i and t for time period t. Y i t equals an intercept alpha plus a coefficient beta multiplied by x i t plus a residual error term epsilon. An important feature is that there is a time invariant component in the error term. Epsilon i t equals eta i plus nu i t. Hence, we can write this out more completely as y i t equals alpha plus beta x i t plus eta i plus nu i t. Note that eta i does not have an index for t because it does not change over time. Eta i is usually considered to be not directly observed in the data. It is time invariant, i.e. it does not change over time, it stays the same. It is also individual specific, it is the same for an individual over time, but it differs when comparing across individuals. Each individual has their own specific value for eta i. This little term here, eta i, might look like a relatively unimportant part of the residual term, but actually it is a big deal. If you don't take it into account, it can completely mess up your results. Panel data techniques generally try to address this problem of unobserved, time invariant, individual specific heterogeneity. A common way of estimating a panel regression is using the fixed effects regression, also known as within regression. To do this, we subtract the individual's average over time to each variable. This is known as time demeaning. It is often referred to as the within estimator because we focus on changes within an entity over time. In other words, we focus on estimation in terms of deviations from means. Yit minus the average of yi equals xit minus the average of xi multiplied by the coefficient beta plus nu it minus the average of nu i. By focusing on deviations from means, we can cancel out and drop the terms for alpha and the time invariant component eta i. This is similar to estimating yit equals alpha indexed by i plus xit beta plus nu it, where the constant term is indexed by i. In other words, each entity has its own specific intercept term. Let me show you what I mean. Fixed effects regression is equivalent to estimating y i t equals alpha indexed by i plus x i t beta plus nu i t. As shown on the graph, each city has its own intercept, although the slope coefficient beta is the same for all cities. In other words, the regression lines have different intercepts where they cut across the y-axis, but they have the same slope, i.e. the regression lines are parallel to each other. We leave the individual intercepts, alpha indexed by i, to be free to vary across cities. In other words, the intercept for each city is considered to be a parameter of the regression model that we try to estimate. Apart from the fixed effects regression, an alternative way of estimating a panel data model is by taking differences. The problematic time invariant individual specific term eta i is removed by first differencing the data. In other words, we focus on the change or the difference or the growth rate over two points in time by taking lags and subtracting. Here we have the regression equation for y i t. And here we have the regression equation for the previous period with one lag, y i t minus 1. 
then we subtract one from the other to take the differences over time to focus on changes over time. The intercept terms for alpha cancel out and the time invariant terms eta i cancel out because they are exactly the same from one year to the next given that they do not change over time. This gives us a regression equation for the change in yit, which is referred to as the first difference estimator. This new regression model on transformed data can be consistently estimated by pooled OLS. This slide compares four regression models on the crime data. Model 1 is the standard OLS linear regression model. The estimated coefficient on police is positive while we expected it to be negative. This model does badly because it does not take into account the panel structure of the data. Put differently, it fails because it does not take into account unobserved time invariant heterogeneity. Model 2 refers to fixed effects regression, also known as within regression. Here the data is transformed to remove the individual specific average. There is no constant term reported in the output of Model 2. The coefficient on police is negative, minus 2.158, in line with expectations. Model 3 is a first difference regression where time invariant individual specific unobserved heterogeneity is removed by taking differences. The coefficient on police is negative here too, minus 1.786, similar to what we observed for the fixed effects model in column 2. Note that we only have 5 observations here whereas we have 10 in the other regression models. This is because we lose one time period of observations when taking differences. If we have two observations for each city, if we then calculate the differences between these two, we end up with just one observation per city regarding the differences over time. Model 4 refers to LSDV, least squares dummy variable regression. What LSDV does is it adds one dummy variable for each city, which is equivalent to the demeaning that is done for fixed effects regression. We have five dummy variables, one for each city. Model 4 is basically the same thing as Model 2, but with more output. The coefficient on police is exactly the same at minus 2.158. The number of observations is the same. Let's think a bit more about fixed effects regression versus taking differences. Here is our panel data regression model with a time invariant individual specific component eta i. Fixed effects regression corresponds to estimations of differences in means and this process cancels out and removes the component eta, eta i. Taking differences focuses on the changes from one period to the next. And by focusing on the changes, the time invariant term eta i cancels out and disappears. We end up with a regression equation in differences. However, Taking differences means we lose a period of observation. If we have two time periods, we will only have one observation for the change between these two time periods. This graph shows why fixed effects and first differences don't get exactly the same results. It's because they transform the data differently. Fixed effects regression has 10 data points here, while first differences regression has only five data points. However, both of these techniques can deal with the problem of eta i, the time invariant individual specific component. That's why both of these techniques have similar estimates of the coefficient on police at around minus two, 
In contrast, the OLS estimate is of the opposite sign at around 1.69. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.